Hey guys, so I am here. I'm going to do a video on how to apply fake nails. Um, I don't know, I just kind of feel the need to just have one of these videos out there. Um, just because, um, I don't know, I just think it will be helpful. Um, and showing you which ones I buy and stuff like that. So this are, these are the Kiss Everlasting French Nails. Um, they are the French tip ones. These are the ones with the pink base. Um, pink nail bed, if you know what I mean. Um, uh, these are the best ones out there. I've tried, you know, multiple brands, and I love these ones, so I always go back to these ones. I always the length in real short, um, just that's what I prefer, because if you have a touch screen, it'll be harder to, like, text and stuff, a touch screen phone. Um, and these are the ones that you have to do the glue separately, as you can see, there's the glue there. Um, they don't have the self-adhesive tabs on them. I hate the self-adhesive things. Um, and I prefer the flat ones more than the square. They just look a little bit more natural um, on. But let's go ahead and get into um, You want to go through them. and size your nails um, accordingly to the fake ones. They're, these ones I like as well because they have the self-tabs, which means it's easier to apply them and you're holding on to the little tab. And then you just twist it and pull it off, which I'll show you in the video. These are the easiest ones to use, I feel like. They have they have numbers on the little tabs so that you can size your nail accordingly and match the numbers. Although in this set, I realized that some of the numbers were not identical in sizes, but half the time they are. Also, this kit contains a little cuticle pusher um, and a file and the glue as well. And what you want to do is you want to push back your cuticles... Um, I've already done this, but, you know, you want to push them back, get all the dead skin off of there so that the nail will stick to your nail a lot better. Now the next thing you want to do is take your nail file, um, it can be the one in this one or it can be one that you have before, it doesn't matter, um, and you want to actually just do it lightly because um, the pink side is more of a lighter grit and the blue side is a heavier grit. Um, so you want to take the pink side and just go on your nail. You want to go lightly, you don't want to go super rough, and you just want to take the natural shine off the top of your natural nail. So just do it kind of lightly, guys. And I'm going to do that on all ten fingers and I'll be right Okay, then once you've done that, um, they should look like this. Um, um, and what you want to do next is just wipe these off. The reason that you want to file your nail like this is so that the glue is going to adhere better to your nail and it'll last a little bit longer. You should only keep these on your nails for about seven days just because you don't want any fungus buildup to happen underneath of, your, like, in between your nail and then the fake nail, if you know what I'm saying. So it's just a, like, a cleanliness thing more than anything. Not because, but the glue also will wear off within seven days as well. But it'll make the glue last for about a couple more days longer if you don't mess with them. So that's why you do this. Let's go ahead and wipe off our nails. Okay, so once you've wiped off your nails, now you're going to get your glue ready. Um, and I'm just going to be using the one that comes in the kit because it actually works really nicely. They have brush-on glues. They don't work as well. I actually like the ones that come in the packages, which is surprising. Um, and this is the pink gel glue. If you have to buy it separate, make sure to get the pink one so that it will match the pink nail bed of the nails. Um, it's good to go and you're not going to dry up. Okay, as you can see here, I always make this little chart. It says left and right, and then this is for the thumb, this is for the index, middle, ring, and pinky. Um, I just have this chart so that I know where they go, um, but it doesn't matter left or right. That part doesn't matter. I just I just do it that way. I don't know why. Anyway, go ahead, and what you want to do is you want to take your thumbnail, and you can hold it with the tab. Sorry, let me get in here. Um, and then you're going to take your glue. And what I like to do since I'm doing my thumb is I'm going to go ahead and take the glue. I'm going to go ahead and put a dot here. And then in a circular motion, just kind of go out with it and add as much as you need. And that's cool like that. And then you're going to do the same down here in the fake nail. And you only want to cover the clear part, basically. You don't need to cover the tip area for these for this length. You don't. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take it like this, you're going to squeeze, and you're going to line it up perfectly, and pr press it underneath of your cuticle for me. And, but you want to hold it down, 
as good as you can for as for you don't have to hold it down like super long time but just press it there and then you can see like I said there's gonna be a tab you, you don't keep those obviously um you press bend it down and then twist it and you're good to go you can take the little file and just file off the little bit take the blue side it's gonna be a lot better at removing that little nib thing and basically that's all you do that is the final look I'm gonna go back and do all the rest of my nails and I'll show you the finished result in a sec this is what the finished product looks like um one thing I want to note is that I you should not get the glue on your cuticles um if you get it on your cuticles it's going to like seep up to the top and you're going to get it on the top of your nail because if you get it in your cuticles it, it's just there's nowhere for it to go do you know what I mean so it's going to come up get on top of your nail and it's going to create a rough look but just step, just stay away from the cuticle don't get on don't get glue on the cuticle area it's just you know chemicals that you don't want there one other thing that I like to do afterward is apply some cuticle oil this one's from Hawaii but um the beauty secret one um, they have this one. I mean, you can get cuticle oil anywhere. SC sells it. Um, so I like to do cuticle. You just put a dot at the very, you know, tip and, you know, massage it all in and then you're good to go. It was just like a manicure, but you did it at home. You did it yourself and it only cost you like seven, eight bucks. Six, eight bucks, whatever. Um, and that's basically it. Um, another thing though, since I don't keep mine like this. Um, I will for like a few seconds, um, but what I do is I take the blue side or just a different file that has a heavier grit and I shave down the top layer of this because if you run your finger over this, um, this is the nail bed and this is the tip. Right before the tip there's a bump. If you're going to paint a cream finish and or a metallic finish, um, you need to get rid of this because it's going to show. So just a side note if that's what you do as well or if you want to do that because you don't have good nails because I don't, um, that's why you do this, then you can definitely do it that way. Um, but that's basically it. That's how you apply fake nails. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I, if you thought it was helpful, thumbs up. Um, and any other videos that you want to see, definitely request them down below and let me know how this video was. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.